course, it's wonderful to be back. Susan Ryan nearly forgot the fantasy of trees routine that she's used to. We were gone last year. It's amazing how much you forget when you're not here for a year, you know, because it's usually routine, but it's been going, it's been going good. The Fantasy of Trees co-chair says COVID-19 couldn't take this year's magic away. It's amazing, and people that have never been here and hear us talk about it, they really don't have a concept till they walk in. And when you walk in, Christmas comes to life. So it's the thing that gets me into the Christmas spirit and it's what gets Knoxville into the Christmas spirit because everybody expects to come, they love to come, and that's what kicks off the season for them. Brian says it really is a community event. Thousands of volunteers make it happen. The hospital's largest fundraiser features more than 350 custom designed trees, holiday accessories, storefront windows, door designs, and centerpieces. They're all priced to sell. Fantasy of Trees raised more than $420,000 in 2019 and almost $300,000 in 2020, enabling the hospital to purchase life-saving medical equipment for East Tennessee's youngest patients. Well, it's been here for you know, 38 years now. Uh, it's grown every year. There are things in it that people have come to expect and just adore. Put on by the people, for the people, and ultimately to help the kids at Children's Hospital.